Good day and welcome back to another Blue Archive video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at Total Assaults and basically uh, how they function in Blue Archive. Now Total Assaults, Total Assaults, uh, they are basically unlocked, I believe at Mission 3, uh, and they are different to the Grand Assaults in just nature and constructs. So Grand Assaults, uh, you get one boss that has various different typings, uh, total assaults, you get armor class based bosses. So in this situation, for example, when we're taking on the boss here, uh, this boss is a heavy type boss, so it's a raid that constitutes having characters that do good damage against that kind of t armor type. So uh, they're more based on armor type than they are based on the overall typing, you know, like uh, Mystic, for example, or Piercing, etc. Uh, so these guys are far more based on, you know, their armor type now of course the rewards are pretty good uh, there's a whole bunch of pyroxene uh, the assault coins you can exchange in uh, there's the like limited or mega assault coins or assault coin 2 uh, which you need as well so there's tons of great rewards and you can exchange those coins uh, at the assault shop for some really really good prizes as well so there's really a lot of incentive to do these uh, even if you're doing the lower difficulties uh, you should be coming in and clearing your tickets because the thing is, is you get so much value out of it. Um, like you get so much good rewards and resources and, you know, just great value. So should definitely come clear your tickets every day. Team building, uh, obviously you're prevalently basing it on the armor type of the opposition. Um, at least that's, you know, the initial way to talk about it. The normal and the hard difficulties or the first two difficulties uh, are nothing too crazy. Uh, generally speaking, players you know, we'll slowly work their way up the difficulties. Obviously the boss has active skills or has EX skills and has abilities to kind of uh, be considerate of. But in this case, uh, as you start, those are less prevalent than, you know, later on. Of course, there's something you should be concerned about, but uh, when you first start, don't worry too much about it. Uh, if you're in a guild or in friends or have friends, you can use them as assistance as well. And that also tends to help you out uh, quite a bit. So. There's a lot of great incentive uh, to realistically uh, taking on this event and, you know, I would say uh, clearing it regularly. There's tons of great rewards, but especially the pyroxene uh, and also the, like, assault coins. Because you can trade those assault coins in for some great prizes and resources, uh, and you're definitely going to need them for later. So even as a new player, even if you're only clearing the first difficulty or the second difficulty, uh, you should definitely, definitely be doing this. Uh, obviously this is just a guide to the basics, it's nothing too crazy and uh, we're not going to get too in-depth on how you can beat every single total assault, uh, but it is very important to partake and you'll get rewards even by just getting points. Even if your overall ranking is low, uh, you will still get rewards for your attempts and you will get rewards for your total points scored. So there's always an incentive to come in and play it and you can use skip clear afterwards, so really good stuff. But yeah, that's uh, that's going to be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. So until then, as always, take care, stay safe and thanks for watching. Bye.